Hi, I'm Dr. Christopher Mitchell, founder of Chemitech and author of Using the TI-84 Plus and Programming the TI-83 Plus, TI-84 Plus. Today I'd like to introduce a video by my Chemitech colleague Daniel Thornycroft, also known as TI Freak ADAX. In response to a Facebook and Twitter post by Casio Education comparing the graphing speeds of a Casio and TI calculator, Daniel decided to compare the graphing speeds of 12 different calculators four from Casio, six from Texas Instruments, and two from Hewlett Packard. He compared monochrome calculators, color screen calculators, and on each of them graphed two functions, a parabola and a line. I'll leave it to him to present his findings, and at the end of this video, I'll give a quick summary of the different times that the calculators took to graph the two equations. You can find more information on Chemitech. Hey guys, T.I. Freak here. Um, saw Casio Education's post on Facebook about comparing their graphing calculator, the 9750G2 versus the 84 Plus CE. And uh, I seen the video where they were showing it doing graphs comparatively and the 84 Plus CE sadly came up real short. So a friend of mine, Kerr Martian of Chemitech, decided that we should do a little bit of testing to see was it actually true, was it something in the software being slowed down to show, and, well, sadly, the software was just slightly slower than what the actual calculator can produce. Um, and since I decided that I was going to go to the effort of doing this test, I thought, why not just go ahead all out? So, for starters, bring up the y equals. You can see that I've already input the uh, various plots for the, the uh, functions for the graph to equate. And you can see how it's taking its time to think about it before it decides to display it. So there is that calculator and how slow it happens to go. The actual hardware calculator, this is a school property one that I got off eBay quite some time ago. As you can see, I've already got it input. You can see how fast it launches across the screen. Not sure what it is it's done differently between the two and generating it via the equations or whatever it needs to do inside the OS, but very significant difference if you're in a hurry to get things graphed. Now I thought, you know, maybe it was just the fact that it was a color calculator. Maybe that was the problem. So I got out the trusty 84 plus, input my equations. And sadly, still the same thing. Very long delay before it displays anything. Now the 84 Plus C Silver Edition, which is essentially the precursor to the CE, uh, kind of like a mid-grade between the Monochrome 84 Plus and the Color 84 Plus CE Edition. I also spent the time, put it in, and as you could guess, for anybody that's used one of these graphing calculators, it's significantly slower anyway. And, uh, yeah, it, it took a lot longer than the CE to even get this graphed. I even did it on the 82 and 83 editions. And sadly, as you can see, my 82's got a few lines messing up there. Cable's dying on me. And I apologize for the light glare there. I don't really have a setup necessary for doing proper recording. And as you can see, I've already input the two equations. We hit the graph button at the same time. And it's roughly the same speed as the 84 plus. <clears throat> I broke out my 9750G. Plus, I already have that set up, F6 to draw it, 
and it actually takes a little while it's unlike the uh, 9750 G2 it's not instant and the 9850 GB plus runs roughly the same Oops. as you can see it also takes a little while to get everything displayed up on the screen this out of the way and the last Casio calculator that I have that's functional I would use the prism but sadly it has decided to stop responding to key presses um, go ahead and exit out of there just for fun we'll go ahead and delete this so we can get a fresh view enter and we'll go ahead and draw it as you can see like the G2 it's actually quite quick on getting it displayed up there on the screen now back to the TI graphing calculators let's see if I can remember how to do this scroll down to the Y editor you can see we've already got it input there and graph I do believe I have forgotten to clear the uh, min or the screen off I apologize for that. Let's go ahead and do that. You can see how it also takes a little while to get it displayed on the screen. Not terribly long, but for compared to what the processors are from the 68K Motorola to the Z80, you'd think that maybe it would be a little faster. Sadly, not super um, not great amounts faster than what the other ones were. I have my HP 50G. Now this one's a little bit of a trip to get working here. A calculator that I actually haven't used much of. I got it specifically for the collector value. And as you can see, it's quite similar to the TI calculators takes a few seconds to think about it before displaying each line and the last of my TI calculators one that I also don't use very much of this one you actually input the equation and each equation that you get put into the uh, calculator for function lines oops we didn't want that and delete come on X minus one and as you can see it immediately throws it up on the screen we throw the next one up plus two enter and immediately throws it up so if you're needing a speedy way of getting things displayed on a graphing calculator the Inspire would definitely help you out in that regard pending you can figure out how to use it it's a little bit different than the other calculators that the uh, Texas Instruments has put out then of course my HP Prime in order to get it going, first you go in, see if I can get this to clear up a little. You input your functions, and then you press the plot key. And it very, very quickly displays it up on the screen. That's pretty much all the tests that I was able to run. Um, you can come up with your own conclusion on which calculator you think would be best to take you through your classes. Kinda, we have a uh, few topics on the forums on chemitech.net that uh, goes into great detail on what various calculators have what functions mathematically and otherwise. 
So I encourage you to take a look there. And uh, that's it for me on this one. See you later, guys. Thanks for that extremely in-depth video, Daniel. As you can see, the times ranged from the very low, less than one second for the HP Prime and TI Inspire, to the very high, 17.0 seconds for the TI-84 Plus C Silver Edition. The range in between was filled out by a variety of Casio, HP, and TI calculators. As the Casio video claimed, the Casio FX9750G2 and FX9860G were very fast, taking only slightly over one second to graph the two functions. The HP 50G was also roughly the same speed as the TI-82 and TI-83 at 5.0 seconds, and the now discontinued TI-92 Plus was pretty fast as well at 6.5 seconds. The Casio CFX9850GB+, FX9750G+, and the TI-84 Plus were all roughly 7 to 7.5 seconds. The two newest color TI calculators, the TI-84 Plus CE and the TI-84 Plus C Silver Edition, brought up the bottom of the pack at 10.7 and 17.0 seconds, respectively. Based on these findings, it seems that Casio may have rewritten its equation operating system to be even faster on the Casio FX9750GB and 9860G, while TI has been using the same equation operating system that has only grown since it was first introduced in the TI-81 and TI-82 calculators well over two decades ago. We look forward to seeing TI's progress with the TI-84 Plus CE in the future and seeing whether they will take the effort necessary to speed up that graphing. For more information and to discuss these findings, visit the Chemitech forum at chemitech.net.